Hey guys, welcome back. Well, it's the Wisconsin Landman, and I am on another covert property tour. Woohoo! Uh, Lucy and I are deep into a property in Polk County, Wisconsin. We're just uh, photographing it and mapping it as we go here, and I am in a really deep section of this timber. You can see uh, this is all jack pine, a little bit of uh, oaks smaller in this area, I would say red oak mainly, but uh, there are some areas that actually have some pretty, pretty good oak trees. And this is a completely unimproved property. So it is an opportunity. I don't know if the camera's picking up. There's a dandy trail right there going, coming through there. I don't know, at one point it might've been an ATV trail or something, but there's a lot of sign in here. I'm looking for sheds. I'm not seeing any yet, but we got a fresh snow last night. so. Who knows, I'm kind of just sticking to the trails and seeing if I can see any sheds. But uh, this is in Northwest Polk County. I'm kind of near Cushing, if you know where that is. And uh, this is one of those pre-listing tours that I do. I come out and I'm evaluating this property. I kind of have an idea what I think it's worth. And then of course the owner has what he thinks it's worth. So we're out here poking around and photographing, videoing having a good time what a great day to be in the woods so if you guys are looking for a property and uh you want northwest polk county you should probably stay in touch with me and uh look for this video when i get it listed i'll let you know I'm neil hogger land specialist somewhere in polk county my buddy lucy here we're having a good time and hopefully we get this thing listed right lucy let's go find some deer all right, see you later. Come on, buddy. Where's the deer? Where they at? Don't chase them. Go find some sheds. Go find some sheds. This area of uh, Polk County tends to be a little sandier soil. Um, that's why you get these jack pine See, I'm in, in a jack pine forest here right now. Um, a lot of red oak here, sandier soils. I've been up here in the summer. It gets really hot. It's very dry on dry years, um, but it's got a pretty good deer population up here. I'd say high deer population up here. I've talked to some of the DNR guys and they tried to plant a bunch of pines and the deer annihilated them. And so they had a doe season the next year. I think they took the tops off like 15,000 pine so lots of deer up here and uh food plots might be tough but you get a guy like jeff nelson of habitat solutions advanced habitat solutions jeff can get it done for, here's a plug for you buddy but uh this tell you what this property is completely unimproved i mean there's just a ton of opportunity here a lot of timber it probably need it probably could use a cut so a guy could come in here and recoup some of his costs put in some trails in the process, force that equity that I talk about all the time, multiply that with some appreciation, sell off some of the uh, timber and get a little uh, other people's money pay down of that uh, of your property and do pretty well in here. There's also a nice little cabin as you'll see sometime in this video, I'll get it up and load it with squirrels, <laughs> but it's one of those, uh, in the woods place is pretty cool and a wood stove and you could tell a bunch of old guys had a fun time in there so that was pretty cool these popple you can't see them very well against the white sky but those are all popples those suckers need to come out that's money standing get them out they're not gonna do anything you'll get a flush of growth from all the shoots that come up after you cut them and the grouse love that and getting any younger you know, one of the tools I use when I'm out here is uh, MapRite. And uh, MapRite is a great tool. And I'm following myself and I'm able to see where I'm going and I can see the ridges because of the topo and I can start to predict where a hunter might want to be. And sure enough, I found these knobs and guess what I found? Right there, two man stand. So amazing how you use these tools and if you're a hunter like you guys I'm sure are that are watching this you're thinking the same thing I'm thinking half the time because I find these all the time what a great spot I tell you what 
this is gonna be a fantastic rifle uh, property because there's these little knobs and it hunts bigger than you think. It's about 150 acres, a little bit more. Um, but uh, great bow hunting too. A lot of little pinch points, these ridges come together. Probably all now it's too many of them. You're gonna have to give some reasons for the deer to come to a spot, hence the, uh, hence the water holes maybe in food plots. So I'm trying to use this tool to get myself back. I'm doing a loop back around, but I did find that. I wanna give you guys an example of the timber that's on this property. There's a lot of this. This is a, it's a red oak, and I'm gonna say it's about 25 inch girth, and there's a lot of them. There's one here, another smaller one. Turn around, there's one right there. It's a little bit bigger. Red oaks aren't the preferred browse for deer, but they can do okay. And these are fantastic tree stand trees. Look at this. Get up here and my shoulders, a little bit wider my shoulders. What a great bow stand, or rifle stand. Check this view out. Give you a 360, you can see why this guy chose it. It's got a lot of, lot of view here. So he could see a long ways down there. I'm seeing probably, I don't know, 150 yards to the next knob. So I'm sure these deer are coming through here through these knobs and, and staying low and sneaking through here. You just gotta get a way to get back here. So I don't know how this guy got here, but I'm gonna see if I can get myself out of here using his, tra his trail. Okay. So all these here, these are all popple. This whole grove of them here. A couple dozen trees and that's all money. These trees uh, grow fast, they die quick. They're not a lot of money, but uh, it's pulp wood. But if you cut this out and punch a hole in the sky, you're gonna get a flush of woody browse in here. And that is the deer's preferred food source in the winter. So great for the habitat, good for the deer, make a little money. You guys hear that? Lucy's ears and the wind just singing through these trees. High pressure's moving in. Solitude. Sometimes I like to just come out here and just listen, just experience it. So as I walk around these properties, a lot of times I think of the guy, maybe like you, that doesn't have a lot of equipment, a lot of money, and you want to put in food plots. How do you do it? Well, check this out. A little opening in the middle of this woods. Don't ask me why, it's here. I don't see any trails coming in here, but sure enough, it's here. And uh, this could easily be turned into a food plot. Um, I'm guessing that uh, the soil is sandy, so you might have to start with building the soil a little bit with some rye, uh, but you could do it. Maybe some chicory has some really deep tap roots. Tap roots. My lips. It's cold out here. It's 18 degrees. So, yeah, you can find these little spots. You got to get out and walk around, though. A little gem in the woods. All right. I've been looking for this, and I found it. Look at that. Nice little rub. This is sheer. Yeah, four or five inches around. Yeah. It looks like it's a maple which is a little softer wood than all this oak and this jack pine. So, um, yeah, definitely, you know, this area, I'll tell you what, this area is uh, definitely a numbers area. I don't think you're gonna get, you know, Boone and Crockett up here, but I think if you wanted to bring your kid up here and do a little hunting and just see a lot of deer, that's what this place is. So hopefully when we list it, if we list it, they're reasonable on price. What do you think, Lucy? <laughs> Let's go. When I evaluate these properties and try to figure out, you know, what kind of recommendations to make, I look for stuff like this, you know, it's woody brows. And what I'm looking for is, is this stuff bit off? Does it look good? There's a, let me get the camera focused on. You can see how that's nipped off at a 45 degree angle or so. That's all deer. It's been done here too. It's all over here. This is all uh, maple regen. They haven't been able to get up here or barely can because it's too high. But anything that's low, like this bush, they're all nipped off. All these ends are nipped off and uh, this is the preferred food source. So if you come in here and log this, take some money out of it, get this regeneration going. 
you're making deer food. It's high protein and it doesn't cost you much. You can see another one. Here's a, another tip, all maple. Not for me. So I stumbled across this. A little trapper cabin maybe, we'll call it. Up on a hill here, it's got an outhouse back in the back out there. It's a secondary little cabin. But the guy that snores here, my brother Mark, he's like a friggin' chainsaw. Or Joe Schmitzer. I know you're listening. You're bad. Sean Perry's the worst. But uh, yeah, nice little view. Check it out. See all the way down there? Up by a nice little hill here. Pretty cool. All right, we're getting out of here. I'm not gonna tell you where I'm at again. I'm not gonna show you identifiable features so that you could figure out where I'm at. And uh, hopefully this video doesn't have GPS. So if you're techie, you can figure it out. Oh, I just showed you the building. All right, well, anyways, there's the cabin. This is a true hunter shack right here, I tell you what. Complete with squirrels, 1970s carpet, <laughs> everything you'd want. Old a barrel wood stove and propane heat, but hey, it'd be fun. Hey, come back in here and camp out with your buddies and do a little hunting, so. Okay, that's the end of this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Covert, it's not listed. I hope to have it listed soon. And if I do, I will let you know, but uh, um, we're going to wrap her up. So, hey, I'm Neil Hogger, land specialist with Whitetail Properties Real Estate. We're out somewhere in Polk County on a covert property tour. Appreciate the likes, shares, and comments. Hit that button down below and stay tuned. We'll get this up and running, hopefully. Fingers crossed.